This is the Amped Outdoors 20 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. Now this battery replaces their 18 amp hour battery. And this is the thing I really, really like about Amped Outdoors. They are constantly evolving. They're constantly putting more capacity into these these batteries. More so than, you know, their, all their competitors, they just seem to kind of just be stagnant. It's always gonna be a 10 amp hour or always 18 amp hour. They're never evolving like Amped Outdoors seems to be um so i really like that innovation from this company now full disclosure i used to sell amped outdoor batteries i no longer do that just because the youtube channel didn't feel right tearing down their competitors batteries while i was selling them so um i stopped selling them still a fan of of amped outdoors but there's no financial ties if you will this is going to be an honest review uh there's stuff i'm sure i'm uh, not like about this battery so We'll talk about it all. Here we go, stick around. All right, first off, we're gonna check out the capacity test. This battery tested at 20.95 amp hours. So dang near 21 amp hours, 20 amp hour battery. So that's great. Beautiful flat discharge curve. Let's check out the website. This battery is listed for 140 bucks. That comes out to $7 an amp hour. Let's take a look at the specs here. Uh, nothing that really stands out. Everything here is uh, pretty common specs for a lithium iron phosphate battery. I do see four pounds for her weight, so let's hop on the scale and see what she weighs. All right, let's get this guy weighed up. And we are looking at four pounds, 7.1 ounces. The website said four pounds, and I'm guessing uh, they just haven't updated their information yet because that was, was the 18 amp hour listing. So. Uh, they still have to go through, update the specs. There's a brand new battery that just came out. So I'm not gonna harp on them too bad about that. Keep in mind, this battery was built for fish finders. Now, what's that mean? If you're e-bike guy, you're looking for these some of these batteries to put in series, can't do it with these batteries. You can put them in parallel. You cannot wire these in series. So this is not going to be a good battery for a 24 volt application. Trolling motor guys, you're not running trolling motor off this. The max draw on this battery is 15 amps. This is gonna be the lowest amount of capacity I would recommend for a live scope guy, for a Garmin guy. Your lower mid-level fish finders, you're gonna run days off this battery. Well guys, that's enough chit chat about this battery. I think it's about time to avoid the warranty. If you're new around here, that's where we open up the battery, take a look at the build quality. Do me a favor, if you haven't already, hit that like button, subscribe, Really, really helps us out, helps out the channel. Here we go. I almost forgot to do the short circuit protection test. Now, in my opinion, this is the most critical test on a battery. And the reason being is inside these lithium batteries, there's just a hell of a lot of energy in there. A lot more than uh, AGM or a lead acid battery. There's a BMS in here, and that's gonna prevent short circuits. Or it's supposed to have come across a bunch of batteries that it doesn't work so this is a test i really like doing what we want is we do not want to see sustained current we might see a little jump and then it should go right back down that's exactly what we want to see zero current had a little spark there not a big deal no current no short circuit this isn't hot at all. If you were to do this on a lead acid, um, this I'd be smoked out of here. This thing would be on fire. So good deal, pass that test. Let's uh, open it up. First look, Amped Outdoors, 20 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. I will say uh, it was not as hard to get into as some of the other batteries I've I've done. Um, looks like we have some some black silicone here. And it just doesn't seem as adhesive, I guess, as some of the other batteries. Now, is this gonna be waterproof? Nope, not gonna be waterproof. But is it gonna be water resistant? Yeah, I think it will. If you drop it into water, it's it's gonna be ruined. If you if it you get some rain on it or splash with a kayak paddle it's gonna be all right 
you know, I've, no, I've, I've noticed this a lot. A lot of batteries, they'll solder these terminals up and then they'll put caulk on that soldering. I'm not sure why they do that. If you guys have any theories, if you know why they do that, let me know down in the comments. I really don't know what the purpose of putting a little bit of silicone other than maybe corrosion prevention. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. If you have any theories or if you know. There's like no wasted space in here. This battery pack is taking every little bit of room we have in this battery case. There we go. Yeah, they put a bunch of caulk on the bottom to secure it. So as far as the case goes, uh, wasn't too hard to get into. It was secure in there. Or there's the desiccant. I really like Amped Outdoors does this. I haven't seen any other batteries do this. This is a, a desiccant pack, so that's gonna absorb any moisture that's in this, in this case. I really like that they do that. Let's open up this shrink wrap, see what we got here. All right, so the whole pack is wrapped up in fish paper, and these appear to be the same cells they used in their 12 amp hour battery. So a few things I like, I see that I like already about the pack, and a few things I don't like. These are your balance leads here. Uh, this plug is soldered down, that's pretty much standard now. I like how they're they're separated out, they're not crisscrossing each other. I, we got one here that, that crosses, but that's all right. The reason being is you, you just don't want to like rub and short out together. So we have our balance leads right here. They're separated, that's great. They have tape over them, but I would have liked to have seen tape underneath them as well. Uh, reason being, the, these are positive. These cells are negative. Uh, they just have a little bit of shrink wrap. That's what's separating them. I would have liked a little bit more insurance, uh, just a layer of tape sandwiched. Uh, have that wire sandwiched between a layer of tape, just not on top. Not a huge, huge deal. I'm pretty nicked nitpicky with batteries so i really like they got the, got them separated now one thing i did notice that they did not do on their 12 amp hour build and you haven't seen that one I'll, I'll leave a link up here in the corner is they separated their series cells so you have all these cells here these are all in parallel with these this bank is in series with this one this one's in series with this bank and this bank is in series. So what they did not do on their previous build was put a separator here between the series. You got fish paper right between there. I really like that they did that. They made improvements to it. I like to think it's because I've said something on the video. So I'll take the credit for it. Overall, very, very good, clean build. Not perfect, but it's definitely one that I would recommend. I've seen a lot worse. Uh, from other companies. Uh, this does have high temperature probe. This does not have low temperature charging protection. Uh, something I would like to see. I've seen it in cheaper batteries. Um, it doesn't seem like any of the name brand batteries really have them. Uh, hopefully that's something we'll see in the future. I know at one time they were working on it, but we'll see if it comes out in the future. But as of right now, these 20 amp hour batteries do not have low temperature charging protection. Let's get to testing this high temperature cutoff. There's a high temperature discharge cutoff. And the purpose of this, if this battery gets too hot, it's going to disconnect. It's going to stop. It's not going to allow you to use it anymore. So uh, just another safety feature with this BMS. Let's, uh, let's get going on that. We got the capacity tester hooked up. We have 12 volts right here. We're gonna start discharging. And we got one amp. So let's heat this probe up. And there it is. Zero amps. So, what we did is we simulated this battery getting hot. Battery turned itself off. Good test. All right, so concluding thoughts about this battery. 
It's a very good build. It's priced right, 140 bucks for 20 amp hours. I really like that they went ahead and put the series separation in here to isolate your series cells. Really like they made that change. Uh, balance leads, I like that they're spread out, not crisscrossing each other. Still would like to see some tape, but uh, or something underneath them to keep them away from keep them off that cell. But it's not a perfect pack, but it's a pretty damn good pack. Would have liked to have seen low temperature charging protection. If you have any questions about this battery, let me know down in the comment section. And thank you for watching. Make sure you hit this next video. Keep it tuned in here to the Isol Power Channel. Thanks, guys.